Hello students, welcome to my channel Maths Hub. And today in this video, I'll tell you about the Taylor series expansion. Right? It's very interesting to know what is the Taylor series expansion in a function of two variables. So now, whenever we have a function of two variables, f of x comma y, and all its partial derivatives up to nth order are finite and continuous for all the points x comma y, where x lies between a and a plus h and y lies between b and b plus k then f of a plus h comma b plus k is f of a comma b plus h times that means whatever is the increment in x h times delta by delta x plus k times delta by delta y of f plus 1 by 2 factorial h times delta by delta x plus k times delta by delta y whole square into f plus the terms continue like this so the nth term will be 1 by n factorial delta h times delta by delta x plus k times delta by delta y raised to power n applied on the function f and it's a finite infinite series. Right? So now let us try to expand. We have to expand sin x comma y in the powers of x minus 1 and y minus pi by 2 as far as the terms of second degree, right? That means we need the expansion till second order terms. So what is to be done? We'll prepare a table where we will calculate all the functions, derivatives, and the derivative value at the given points. So here, we can see that the function f of x comma y is sine xy. So we calculate, since it's a second order term, so we have to calculate the uh, derivatives till the second order. So we'll calculate fx, fy, f of xx, f of xy, and f of yy. So the function f of xy is sine xy. So here the point a is 1 and the point b is pi by 2. So we will put the points x equal to 1 and y equal to pi by 2. And we get the value of the function equal to 1. Now we calculate the derivative of the function with respect to x and that comes out to be y cos xy and similarly when we substitute x as 1 and y as pi by 2 we get the value equal to 0. Similarly we calculate f of y that comes out to be 0. We calculate f of xx which comes out to be minus pi by pi squared by 4. f of x comma y as minus pi by 2 and f of y by y as minus 1. Right? So we assume that a plus h is equal to x. So h comes out to be x minus 1. And when we substitute in this h, we a plus h, we will get a plus x minus 1 is equal to x. So a comes out to be 1. Right? Similarly, if we assume that b plus k is equal to y, so k comes out to be y minus pi by 2. And <coughs> when we substitute in this, b plus k is equal to y. So we will get the value of b equal to pi by 2, right? So by Taylor's theorem for function of two variables, f of a plus h comma b plus k is equal to f of a comma b plus h times f of x a comma b plus k times f of y a comma b plus 1 by 2 factorial h square f of x x a comma b plus 2 h into k f of x y a comma b plus k square f of y y into a comma b. So from this table, we already know the values of all the derivatives and we can put a as 1 and b as pi by 2. And when we substitute it in this equation, we will get the resultant equation as this. So after solving this, you can just substitute the values using the table values. And after solving this expression, we don't have to open up the brackets, right? So we will just solve the constant, the coefficients part. And we get the expansion as 1 minus pi squared by 8, x minus 1 squared, minus pi by 4, x minus 1, y minus pi by 2, minus half, y minus pi by 2, and so on, right? So we just have to calculate the second order term. So now let's look into another problem and see. Expand e to the power x sin pi in powers of x and y x is 0, y is equal to 0 as far as the terms of third degree. So again, how to do it? By Taylor's theorem, f of x comma y will be f of 0 comma 0 plus x into delta by delta x plus y into delta by delta y f of 0 comma 0 
plus 1 by 2 factorial x into delta by delta x y plus into delta by delta y whole square f of 0 comma 0 plus 1 by 3 factorial x into delta by delta x y into delta by delta y whole cube f of 0 comma 0 right so now we first prepare a table which will give us all the values so we calculate f of x y as e to the power x sine y we calculate f x f y f of x x f of x y f of y y f of x x x f of x x y f of x y y and f of y y y and when we substitute x and y equal to zero we get all these numbers right and now finally when we put it back in this expression so our expression for the four year uh, the taylor series becomes f of x comma y is equal to f of 0 comma 0 plus x fx in 0 0 plus y into f of y 0 0 plus x square by 2 factorial f of x x 0 0 plus 2 x y upon 2 factorial f of x y 0 0 plus y square by 2 factorial f of y y 0 0 plus 1 by 3 factorial x cube f of x x x 0 0 plus 3 x square y upon 3 factorial f of x x y 0 0 plus 3 upon 3 factorial x into y square f of x y y 0 0 plus 1 by 3 factorial y cube f of y y y 0 0. So after substituting the values from the table, we get the expansion as y plus x y plus x square y by 2 minus y cube by 6. Right? It's just a matter of calculations and then we can calculate Find the first six terms of the expansion of the function e to the power x log 1 plus y in a Taylor series in the neighborhood of the point 0 comma 0. So again, we assume the function, we calculate all the derivatives till the second order terms since it's the first six terms. So if you check the term, they are the first six terms, term, right? So we will calculate the terms till the second order term. And after putting it in the Taylor series, we get the expansion as y plus xy minus y squared by 2. Right? So you can check your answer by calculating these derivatives. And once you are through with this topic, do check these questions. Right? And if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section whether you were able to solve or whether you had a doubt. Right? So if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed. Thank you so much.